Julius Malema has always lived up to his political promise. He said he would try and hold the president accountable. And, as usual, the Red Berets did what they could. The big difference between this year and last year is that there was no violence. And that's removed the sense of shock from this particular speech. The other big story tonight, of course, is President Jacob Zuma's focus almost solely on the economy, an indication of how worried both government and the ANC are about our slowing economy, and perhaps maybe a concession that what happened around in Tlantlanene last year was not the best idea on the planet. A lot of time was spent on the economic aspects, and uh, details were given on various things that is going to be done. Look at the question of, it talks to the question of, the postman of downgrade. And I think the speech will help us avoid that downgrade. Well, it was a bit of a mixed bag today with the president. Firstly, the disruptions, which we from the ACDP deplore. We do not think that parliament should be disrupted in this manner. The nation is looking for answers. It is looking for hope. And so it was regrettable that this delay took place. Whilst I understand political parties' frustrations with President Zuma, we were keen to hear what President Zuma said. And to a certain degree, he did not let us down. He focused a lot on business, on the economy, and we believe the message was sent out to foreign and domestic investors, let's take hands together and address the situations facing South Africa. We trust that this will be sufficient to avoid the sovereign credit downgrade that is looming. I think the speech touched on many of the key issues, the economy, poverty, and the promises he had made last time. But for me, as a pop protector and as a Chapter 9 institution, I was saddened to that the issue of good governance and the role of our institutions and in working together wasn't mentioned. Even at the time when the President mentioned uh, the implementation of forensic reports, I would have liked it to also include the implementation of the reports of the Auditor General and those of the pop protector and other institutions. President Jacob Zuma tonight missed an opportunity to address the 8.3 million South Africans who are without work. He should have been bolder on tabling a jobs plan that addresses how do we deal with micro-enterprise, that ensures that we privatize certain state-owned enterprises that are not performing, that in fact cuts cabinet in half so that we can balance the fiscus of South Africa, that declares that a drought is a national crisis so that we can ultimately address food shortages and uh, some of the challenges with our water in this country. So he didn't go far enough, he wasn't bold enough, and he certainly didn't address any way about how do we deal with basic education and ultimately corruption in this country. We needed some enthusiasm, we needed some plans that we're going to lift this country out of the problems, and that wasn't there. If I look at something positive, maybe the curtailment of spending. No more trips, no more this, no more entertainment, that type of thing. That's a very small financial number, but it will send a symbolic message out there. But he was repeating a lot of things that he did last year with no new measures. Take, for example, the drought. The drought is really serious. He acknowledges that, but I was looking for some specifics. Well, how are we going to solve it? And there was nothing on that. At the end of the night, you're left with two main impressions. One, Julius Malema swaggering into Parliament and then swaggering out again, singing both times as he was asked to leave. The second is a big focus by President Jacob Zuma on the economy.